Hello. It is Tuesday, the unofficial day that I begin my vlogs because on Mondays I am so busy playing catch up before that I just don't have a moment. I am sitting outside my yoga class and I brought my yoga mat this time. So there will be no disappointments. Someone is sitting and watching me film this. <laughs> I always show up extra early to my yoga class. It takes me 15 minutes to get here and I leave 40 minutes before my class starts just because I like to like let myself get into a good frame of mind before I walk in and also I like to get there early because there's a specific spot that I like to sit at um, that I like to set up my mat and if I get there early then I can guarantee that the spot is mine. I found out that my favorite yoga teacher is teaching today's class which I'm really excited about. I spent all morning catching up on everything from last week. Um, catching up on all of the like just everything that needed to be sent in everything that I had deadlines for everything that I did not finish over the weekend I got last week's vlog edited and uploaded so now I get to go to yoga and then when I go home I don't actually have the whole day off because I do have to do work like I have like mom things but when I get home I'm done with work work so I guess I'll head inside. Remind me to never, ever, ever, ever wear this pair of leggings to your class again. It looks like I peed my pants. These leggings um, hide nothing. They have no secrets. Okay, so about two weeks ago, I ordered some earrings and a nose ring um, from this small shop that I love called Spirit Adornments. However, I ordered the wrong size in two of the earrings, so I'll show you. So this one I ordered for my conch. I'm gonna change that in just a second. But then I ordered these two ones. I ordered their smallest size because according to their sizing chart, well, you can't hear the vacuum too loud. According to the sizing chart, this is the right size for a nose ring or like a cartilage. So my plan was to order these. One was going to be for my nose and one was going to be to replace this earring because I don't love it. I've had it in there for like three years. This is the 0.6 millimeters. It's literally so tiny. I'm going to right now. God, I'm so nervous. Change out my conch ring. Okay. I just texted my friend Casey. We went and got our conch is pierced together last year, beginning of this year. Anyway, I texted her and was like, hey, have you switched that yet? And she was like, yeah, I switched it in July myself. It was super easy. Okay. Guys, this is like, I'm genuinely so nervous right now. I can't even begin to describe to you how nervous switching out earrings makes me. Like even my lobes stress me out a little bit. Like I don't switch out my earrings very often. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, she is done. Look at that. So cute. It definitely irritated my new lobe piercing way more than it irritated my actual conch piercing, but I am obsessed. I've been wanting to get a hoop in this since I pierced it. So I'm so, I'm so stoked about how cute it is. Great. I yeah, you're doing a really great job, baby. Yeah. So I left the house to um, go and pick something up from a friend. They are letting me borrow something for a campaign that I have coming up, which is really sweet of them. They live like 45 minutes away. That's fine. Um, like, I'm just super grateful that they're willing to let me borrow it. I leave, assuming that almost no one is going to see me. Um, right after I leave, my husband calls me and asks me if I would please stop by the liquor store and get this like seasonal flavor of whiskey. So I did, but I'm wearing basically pajamas. The only people who dress like this and go into a liquor store are alcoholics. Just got out of therapy. So today has been kind of a weird, hard day. 
So I had therapy this morning um, and it was rough. Today therapy was rough. Immediately, well, almost immediately after therapy ended, I had an appointment with my psychiatrist um, because I started a new antidepressant about a month ago just checking in to see how that was going. And also I am finally getting on some ADHD medication, which I'm very hopeful about, but it has left me so just drained today. So I took a shower, went and got lunch with Seth, um, came home, I ordered our groceries to be picked up tonight. And then I told Seth that I'm probably just not gonna do anything for the rest of the, rest, for the, rest of the day, which, doesn't really mean anything because I just put the boys laundry in and I'm hoping that I can get a momentum going so I can get some housework done. We are skipping Bastion's dance class tonight because everyone in the family is a little bit sick. We all just kind of have colds um, and I just don't want to give it to anyone. I'd feel really bad if any of his classmates got a cold because of us. So we're skipping this week and he's really, really sad about it, but we're making up for it by watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and I just made them popcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today is gonna be a much better day than yesterday was. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But I got the kids in the car to go on to run some errands and the car won't start because the battery died because last night Seth took Bastion to Wendy's and Bastion really wanted the light on in the car so he could see his fries. So the light never got turned off and the battery died. So Seth is on the way home to <laughs> help me get the car started. We have like a, like a, a battery jumper, like a portable one, so you don't have to hook it up, but it's not charged because Seth has used it a few times on his car because his car's really old. So he's on his way back. Um, and he will help us jump the car and then we can go run our errands. Look who's here to rescue me. Huh? I was just saying, look who's here to rescue me. We are home from all of our errands. I will show you what I got at Target because I am not immune to holiday decor, but I tasked myself today with the job of sorting out my kids' toys because they have a lot of them and Christmas is coming up and we want to, we've done a toy rotation a few times, but I always forget to like, I'll rotate the toys back and then I just kind of put them all back and I forget to rotate them again. So I'm going through their toys today to get rid of anything they don't play with anymore and do like a toy rotation. So that way we can plan accordingly for Christmas because it is time for me to start thinking about Christmas shopping. Okay, let me show you what I got from Target. Um, I don't have super long until I take Rex to the vet, um, but here we go. So. I just cannot resist cute holiday decor. So I got some like cute sparkly bottle brush tree brush, bottle brush trees that I'm gonna put up. I got this cute mistletoe um, that I can hang up somewhere. The boys convinced me to get this. Is it tacky and gaudy? Yes. Will it be going upstairs because of that? Yes. I got these cute little cups for the boys. I tried to convince them to get different ones, but they both wanted the snowman, but I mean, that'll probably eliminate tantrums in the long run. You sniffing all around? <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't even know where to begin about today. It started off as a totally normal day, right? It's 10.30 p.m. on Friday, by the way. It started off completely normal. Um, babysitter was sick today. My kids have been sick all week, so I'm not surprised that she got it. Canceled the plans that I had. We were hanging out at home. Um, I honestly just kind of like spent the day catching up on cleaning and stuff that I hadn't gotten done all week. However, about two o'clock, I am standing in my kitchen, sending a text to my sister, and I suddenly have an incredibly sharp pain in my chest. I rarely go to the doctor, and so I am no stranger to sometimes having weird pains in my body. I like kind of ignored it for a minute. I just stood there, but then it got worse and it kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I walk very slowly to my couch in the other room, going as slow as I can. And I call Seth and I said, hey, I need you to come home. Because at this point, I am also feeling a considerable amount of pain in my arms, but specifically my left arm and I'm starting to feel like I'm going to pass out. So Seth comes home. Um, he's like, okay, do you need me to take you to the hospital? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to go to the hospital and have them be like, it was a panic attack because like, it didn't feel like a panic attack. I've had lots of those. So I was like, I don't think that's what it is. So I got in the bath and I was like, I'll just take a bath, see if that helps. Cause like when I have panic attacks, baths really help me. The bad news is that it did not help. And after getting a little bit better, it got a little bit worse. And so Seth took me to urgent care and we had um, a friend come and stay with the kids while he took me. And Seth was supposed to go shoot a wedding tonight um, and you know, had to take me to urgent care and he didn't want to leave me like not knowing what it was. Unspecified, undetermined cause of pain is what we discovered. They said that it probably is absolutely nothing, probably was like a panic attack or something, um, and that if it comes back or gets worse, then to go to the ER for like a full cardiology assessment or whatever. So essentially, I wasted everyone's time on a Friday evening for nothing. So I'm feeling super right about that. In other news, my budget for magic erasers is about to go up because I've been on a real cleaning spree. There is not a dusty surface in my house that is safe for me and my magic erasers. It's Sunday. No, I did not really record anything yesterday. What is happening to my face? Okay. Anyway, I filmed a little bit yesterday, but not really. We really just stayed at home most of the day, except for when we went to the Nickel Arcade with the kids. Um, we just got back from brunch this morning. Um, we just went to one of our favorite bakeries um, up in Mill Creek. And now we are home. <laughs> we are just letting the boys watch. Um, Taylor Swift music videos, and I think this afternoon we might put up the Christmas tree. Okay, this will be the moment of truth. If it fits, because I think our I think our tree might be too tall for our new house. Oh no! Oh no! It's too tall. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just ended up chopping the very top piece off of the top piece and kind of pushing it into a point because that's what we'll put. Yeah, I think it looks Isn't fine. It yeah, it, it needs to be fluffed a little, but. <laughs> okay, good night. Love you guys. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss next week's vlogs and any other videos that I choose to add into the rotation.